<laughs> What's up guys, you're watching the Victory Beast, and today I'm going to be answering your questions and requests. The other day I went through all of my comments on my channel for about two hours, and I screenshotted and picked out all of the questions and requests. So, right now I will go through ten of them, and I will help you guys out. Alright, so... Jeffin Cockawurst says, Can you make an update tutorial with not that loud background music because I can't get it? Um, in this specific comment, he's talking about the hardcore bass tutorial, and I will have it with no music, so cut out the music right now. So basically, it's like chest bass. <laughs> But at the same time, you're trying to do like a growl, like heavy metal growl. So just tighten up your throat a ton. And again, that position of your tongue and mouth, which I explained in that video. So, and then try to make it raspier. Okay. So, Dark Frost Beats says, "The Do you have a tutorial on the lip roll whistle thing?" No, we do not. I will give you a quick tutorial right now. So, basically, lip roll position, but it's really no special whistle. It's just an inward pucker whistle, but shifted over to be a more comfortable position since a lot of beatboxers that have been using lip roll for a while, automatically it's very quick and easy to go to the lip roll position and not as easy to go, for instance, to like, because it's a little harder to get. Like, I can't go, but I can go. like that but I can't do that with just an inward pucker whistle so lip roll position but don't let your lips rattle together just leave a bit of an open space and mess around with it until the hole is about the same size as a normal inward pucker whistle so it's put instead and it's just over here without the vibration so And just clean it up, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Petrified Beatbox CZ says, Yo, I'm doing it, but it doesn't sound like yours. It's not deep, and I'm not vocalizing it. I don't know what to do. Can you help me? This was on the D'Lo Inward Based Tutorial video. Um doing it doesn't sound like yours it's not deep and I'm not vocalizing it okay so I assume the problem is that you're actually doing an uh, inward vocal fry this is a common mistake that a lot of people uh, do they think <laughs> is the same as <laughs> but it's completely different um, Inward bass or D low inward bass, both of them are in your false folds, while as uh, vocal fry, inward vocal fry, is with your normal like speaking folds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so try to get it in the same register as like chest bass or hardcore bass, like I was showing you. <laughs> I will do a um, updated D'Lo inward bass tutorial since I hit 10k views on that video, my most popular video, and I hit 10,000 just today, so 
really excited about that. I'm crazy. So, yeah. Jared Bowen says, How have you not gotten on Swiss Beatbox shout-out yet? Uh, I just don't think I'm good enough to. Uh, they have some seriously crazy dudes out there uh, doing their thing. I also haven't submitted a video. I might eventually, but... I think I'm going to work on my skills until I'm confident that I can get on Swiss Beatbox before I do that. Ramon Vargas says, Can you make a better tutorial, especially one without the crazy beatbox noises in the back? Yes, I get it. You don't like the music. Okay. Codfish lip roll. Very simple sound. Lip roll. But just bring your lower jaw up a bit and... Your tongue, your tongue needs to rest in between your two lips where you're doing the lip roll. So when you do, your tongue gets out of the way. It kind of just stays back, but you have to move your tongue closer towards the seal of your lips. So and then the second part is just sub bass, just a lip roll, but it's higher up. So. So together it's So yeah. Dzel Monterola says 023 please make some tutorial for that whistle sound. And I believe this is on my liberal I mean my whistle combo video. So that is the one I just did the inward lip roll whistle thingy. So yeah, that goes for you too. Stipe says, how long did it take you to learn this? Also maybe quiet down the music a little bit next time. Yes, I get it. You don't like the music. Um, this is on hardcore bass tutorial. Honestly, I've just always been able to do a hardcore bass. I mean, it's just it's like, uh, what's that dude, uh, crazy fast, um, he has that routine, there's a froggy in my tummy, it's like that, but, except, uh, he does hardcore bass and uh, an outward click roll or tongue bass combined, so it goes, but it's just that, but you're just trying to, make it as nasty and bubbly as you can. Yeah. Trackris1097 says, Mine sound deeper than yours. I'm wondering why. Um, this is probably because you're older than me, and you're... or you're um, heavier than me or something, because, you know, the more space the sound has to travel around and resonate within your body, the deeper the noise is, so I can't go very low because I'm young and my vocal cords aren't completely developed yet, so that might be why. Breathe in or out on inward vocal fry, so so vocal fry tutorial. It is an inward vocal fry, so you're breathing in. You're not really breathing, it's not like, it's just um, inward vocals, uh... so yeah, in, my last one, on D-Low Inward Bass Tutorial, BBX underscore MJ says, how to do stitch voice lol, help, laughing emoji, um, stitch voice, so, basically, you're gonna want to, almost like, you know when you start tearing up, and you're gonna cry, and your throat kind of closes up a bit? <laughs> Gotta do that on purpose, and just really, really exaggerate it, like, um, just 
pretend like you're about to cry, or next time you're about to cry, just go watch, like, uh, Dog's Purpose, and while you're doing that, when the dog dies, like, however many times it dies, um, just, you know, practice that position. Uh, uh, uh. And then inwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was my very first Q and A video. Make sure you leave more questions and comments and requests down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I also just learned the post air, so yeah.